Welcome to AndroidVideoReview.net. My name's Jay Boucher, and today I'm going to review Crazy Snowboard. So Crazy Snowboard, um, I think it came out a couple of weeks ago. It's actually a pretty fun game to play. Um, it was free, it's supported by ads, and then there's also, like, um, you can uh, pay extra money to, like, download certain things in the game. Um, you can buy the app for a dollar, the pro version, which gets rid of the ads. Um, and then there's, like, it, you know, in-game purchases as well. So, the purpose of the game is, if you go to the missions, so these have different missions, whether it's collecting coins on the track or... Um, flying through, going through the slaloms, staying on the track, and then you have to also have to score points, as many points as you possibly can, as well. So, this mission, score over 5,000 points is the goal. I'm really sorry about this phone ringing and the dog barking, if you can hear that too. I'll give it a second. So, in the game, when you start the match, so the controls are pretty easy. Um, not sure how that happened. So you control yourself with, we're going to restart that, because that didn't go too well. Let's try that again. Sorry for the interruption, folks. So we're going to try that again. So the objective of this board is to score 5,000 points. You score points by landing combos like jumps and moves and stuff. You control it with the gyrometer. So it's left and right with the gyrometer. If you hit the, if you hit the left lower button, that causes you to jump. And then on the right side is where you can choose like which moves you want to do. Um, you can switch. You have four different moves at a time. And you can trade them in in the customized screen. So... If the goal of this mission is to get 5,000 points, you get a certain amount of stars depending on how well you do, how many tricks you land, what you land them on, um, and stuff like that. And you can also you can also use um, like the whatever you would call those. Um, they're kind of like the rails. That's what I was thinking of, like in skateboarding when you hit the rails. And if you land on the rails, you know, or you jump on the rails, you get more points for doing that and for completing different moves while you're on the rails. And then when you jump off, you're, you know, different moves give you different amounts of points. And if you do like combinations of moves, you can actually get um, multipliers, and the multipliers, you know, will will give you a, like a ton more points. Um, and then you can each map that you play, see you have a certain number of stars. So it says next star at 1500. So if the next time I played, I can get 1500, then I would get another star. And the stars. Um, are used to track your progress in the game. I don't know why it keeps quitting when that happens. Um, and you can customize your your guy. You can customize the look of your guy. You can customize the board that you're using. Um, and some of these are you know completely free customizations that you can just do in the game. So you can change your characters. You have to you, uh, unlock them with stuff. With uh, the points you get in each round, you can change the boards. I don't know if the different boards actually do anything different or, you know, make you any better. You can change the, um, like, the what moves you do. You can buy new moves, and you can change the ones you have currently. Okay, pretty sweet game. Definitely can uh, keep you occupied for a while. Um, I, I would give it, I say, like a 4 out of 5, again. It uh, keeps you busy, and there's tons of replayability. It's 30 boards, and you try to get all the stars in each one of them. There's a free free mode where you can just go around and try to you know gain points and stuff. Um, and the instruction screen is really helpful. So if you have any questions, you can check us out at www.androidvideoreview.net. Thanks.